What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sims Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And we are back with some more of the Dallas Cowboys franchise here on Madden 23. We are 4 and 2 on the season, boys. We're taking on three NFC North opponents in four weeks. We got the Lions, the Bears, and then a bye. Then we're going to be taking on A Rod and the Packers. Now, what we're going to do in this video, man, I'm going to play only moments for all three games. We're going to have a triple header, but you know, let's go ahead and take a look at scouting. So let's go ahead here and take a look at scouting, boys. Now, with our record right now, we're projected that to pick anywhere between, you know, 15 and about 25 if the season was to end right now. Uh, you know, currently projected at 20, but I'm just going based off of what I feel, feel like we're going to finish with our record. And uh, we've pretty much narrow down the positions that we wanted to go after in that in that range now first up we got cornerback Heath Bayless out of Colorado State you know what I mean he does have a few issues and a few holes in his game he struggles to fall to find the ball in the air he has a high motor though and he'll and it'll run through the whistle often looks to rip the ball away from his opponents shows good discipline and won't get flagged but as you can see down here he has a catching and he has a b press so he still finds a way to make plays on the ball and gets picks his acceleration is good to great agility solid to good change of direction good to great jumping decent to solid speed decent to solid so you know even at even though he's kind of smaller at 511 he's not the, the crazy he doesn't have crazy speed and so far what we know about his skills at 30 percent scouted a catching b press b tackle so you're not going to be able to just run the ball his way and pick up easy extra yards next up with us probably letting go lve at the end of the year we got anthony davis out of usc now he's projected to go between the first and the second round which means he's probably going to be projected to be a late rounder uh, he has gone down a little bit since we've scouted him we got about 30 percent of them done player notes player he's physical he delivers bone crushing hits savvy defender with the when the ball's in the air so you know even though he's a middle linebacker, he's going to be able to stuff the run. He's still going to be able to drop back in coverage. He also has a high motor. He often looks to rip the ball away from his opponents. And, you know, good discipline won't get flagged much. Uh, B pursuit is one of the main things we know from his core skills. He also has B hit power and B awareness. Decent to solid acceleration. Great to elite agility. Change of direction is poor to marginal. So that's going to be kind of tough when it comes, you know, if we had to user him. Jumping is great to elite. Speed is solid to good. Strength is good to great. And then last but not least, Looking to add some depth and some, you know, some strength and some some run some run stuffing up the middle. We got Darrell Starks out of Bum SU. I mean Florida State. Physical player who delivers bone crushing hits, loves to utilize a spin and a counter move. Has a swift arm over move in his arsenal. Will utilize power and leverage to bull through pass protectors. So he has good finesse moves and good power moves. As you can see, B power moves, B tackle. He has a high motor. He often lick, looks to rip the ball away from his opponents. Take a look at his physicals. He has good, solid to good acceleration, good to great agility. Change of direction is good to great. Jumping is good to great. Speed is solid to good. Strength is solid to good. And out of all of his skills, we know B power moves, B tackling, B awareness. We got him 35% scouted. And he's projected to go round one as well. So so hopefully if we do end up picking in the late first round, some of those guys will be there and we'll be able to add them to the squad in order to bring them on to the team as we look to continue to build a contender here in Dallas. Now, first up, man, we're going to be taking on the Detroit Lions. Their top threat, 90 overall, TJ Hawkinson. So far this season, 25 catches, 300 yards, two receiving touchdowns. Uh, take a look at the overall ranks. We have uh, number two uh, offensive points per game, number nine in pass yards per game, number one in rush yards per game, number 17 defensive uh, pass D, or number 17 in points allowed, number 17 in defensive passing yards. They're number five. And we're number one in defensive rushing yards, and they're number five. So they're going to look to keep Zeke off of the ground. So Dak is going to have to make some big throws, but I definitely think that he is up for the challenge. Take a look at our weekly strategy this week. Uh, it's going to be to defend the deep pass. Jared Goff, uh, 79.1, number nine in the league in deep passer rating, number 21 in deep yards, number 17 in deep touchdowns. We're going to go ahead and keep that. And then also for the offensive side of the ball, we're going to look to throw a medium. Mike Hughes seems to be our biggest threat. Um, medium pass rating uh, is number six in the league. I'm pretty sure that's for us. And a medium tap pass touchdowns. We're number 14 in the league with five. Or maybe that's what they give up. I still don't know how to read this thing all the way. All right, man, slowly but surely going down our training recap here. Our focus guys are getting good training. Nobody's injured on the offensive side of the ball. That is what we want. 
Then on the defensive side of the ball, we look to have more of the same because our defense has been playing pretty well for the most part. I would like to see us create more turnovers, get more takeaways, but other than that, pretty, pretty solid. All right, boys, we got our first moment of the game. It's going to be a third and three here about halfway through the first quarter because we play on 10-minute quarters. You know what I mean? And we're looking to pick up a first. Zeke's going to cut that back. Can he pick up the first down? He does. Let's go. All right, boys, we got same drive here, third and five. We are in field goal range, so the key is to not mess this up, not throw a pick, not get the ball to the other team. When we got a receiver wide open, it's going to be Michael Gallup. He's going to cut that up. He's got some blocking up front, and we're down inside the 15-yard line. All right, boys, we're going to be looking to cap off this drive to finish this drive off here. We're moving the ball down with ease. Two big third down pickups. Hold that block on the outside. Zeke makes somebody miss. Unable to truck the DB on the outside. You don't see that often from Zeke. All right, second and eight here, boys. Here we go. Got one, and it is... Picked off red zone interception for Zeke there. Un did not see the DB in the end zone. He made he made a beeline towards the receiver, and Elliott's going to have a big-time interception for the Lions. All right, boys, so now here we are on the other side of the ball. We need a big-time stop on third down. So let's see if we can get our boys off the field here. I'm really, I'm really upset at myself for giving up that interception as I get beat on that route right with LVE. And are they going to score? They are down inside the 10 yard line. And just like that, the Lions are in business. DeAndre Swift, you know what I mean? If he has LVE on him, he's going to eat exponentially. So, you know, he had no business being on him, man. And most of we already know the vibes was going on there. It's actually a handoff misdirection. DeAndre Swift on back to back big plays. Lions strike first. And we're down 6 nothing here in Dallas. All right, boys, third and four outside of the red zone, barely. But we're in striking distance to score. Play action. Dak nowhere to go. He's just going to throw it to the throw it in the ground. We're going to, have to settle for three. All right, forty-three yard. Remember, our kicker isn't isn't the greatest. He does he does miss kicks. I feel like he should hit, but that one's going to be up, and that one's going to split the uprights, and we are no longer scoreless here in the second quarter. All right, boys, something we strive in. Two minute drill here. One fifty-six left here in the second quarter. Once again, let's hold on to the ball. Dak. He's got a receiver open. There's a flag on the play. Hopefully, it's going to be pass interference because Dalton Schultz was held up a little bit there on that route. Let's see what that flag is. It's going to be holding. That play is going to come back, and that holding is on Tyler Smith. No way. All right, man. A little unfortunate circumstances there, but here we go. Dak back to pass. Bill Blitz coming. Tried to dump it off. Unable to get his ball, the ball out of his hands, man. That's going to be a big-time sack here for Detroit. Second to 29, not where we want to be. We were definitely a long way away from this. Blitz coming. Boom, C.D. Lamb, can he spin out of that? He can't. He's going to pick up six yards. Nothing really crazy. All right, third and 23 here. A pick would be disastrous. Boom, and unable to make anything happen as the blitz off the edge is just too much. Our O-line is struggling here today. All right, boys, so we do end up scoring here in the second half. But we got the ball again, once again, in the red zone. So that's good to know that, you know what I mean? We can still put our foot down as Zeke cuts that up, puts his foot in the ground, breaks the tackle. He's in the end zone. What a run from Zeke. From a long way out, and that's why we continue to feed the young man day in and day out. He's a workhorse, and that's why we were able to get rid of Pollard, man. We knew what we still had with Zeke. We paid him a lot of money to be able to do this, and we need to continue to see it. All right, man, so no defensive moments here so far in, a, in, a, in the second half. All offensive third and one, looking to pick this up. Oh, I'm going to Zeke out of the backfield. He's going to be able to pick that up. Let's go. All right, continuing this drive here in the red zone. Definitely a blitz coming here. Let's switch some things up. We know who's coming. We ID the mic. Here we go. Let's get rid of it. Trying to get rid of it. Trying to do the smart thing and throw it away. And Chandler Aiden Hutchinson, excuse me, is killing us right now. So I'm a, I'm gonna go ahead and do this here, boys. I'm a double team Aiden Hutchinson, bro. I just gotta do it. Even though that's uh that's a uh, Tyron Smith, I'm gonna double him because that's how much he's eating out there. Dalton Schultz, one on one, good D there by the DB. Try to high point it for our taller uh. Our taller tight end. All right, boys. Third, third and 21 here. Let's be smart. Gallup one on one. Makes the catch. Let's go. Hey, man, give you guys a chance one on one and see what they're going to do. Michael Gallup makes the play. Remember a couple episodes ago, man. Gallup, or last episode, I think. Gallup asked for us to make something happen for him, yo. He asked us to get him to rock, and that's why we do right there. Let's go. All right, boys. Pretty much looking to end the game effectively here on this fourth and 10. 24-7, under two minutes left here for the for the Lions. Let's get off the field. Trayvon Diggs 
making a play. Let's go. Looked like he got beat, but he stayed with it, stayed through the ball, and we're getting off the field. All right, boys. So that's going to do it here for game number one at home versus Lions. It started off a little shaky, baby. It started off a little shaky, but then we came out here, kept our head down, got the job done. Dak with the with the early pick didn't let that de uh, define the rest of his day. And we got to win, man. Let's go. The boys continue to roll. Two roll, not the roll. Final stats in this one, man. Dak throws for 200, two touchdowns, one pick. Golf doesn't throw for any touchdowns, any picks. Just 44% completion percentage on the ground. Z continues to do his thing. 28 for 146, a touchdown. DeAndre Swift scored the one touchdown as well. Through the air, TJ Hawkinson, um, looks like we held him at bay just a little bit. Four catches, 51 yards. We had a touchdown with CeeDee Lamb. We had a touchdown with Michael Gallup when he went up top and made a play. Um, you know what I mean? Come over here to the defensive side of the ball. Let's just take a look at our guys. Uh, Anthony Barr had four solo tackles, uh, four solo. LVE has six solo tackles, six solo. Uh, two tackles for loss for uh, Demarcus Lawrence. He also had a sack. Michael Parsons had a sack and Osa had a sack as well. We didn't catch any picks, but we did catch a big fat dub. So we have two player upgrades after that game. Kyle, Tyler Biadis. Uh, one of the guys we 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 wanted we expect big things out of. So this is one of the reasons why we're not going to go after a lineman in the draft. Even though this is a pretty solid lineman draft, I want to build some of the young guys we have at that position. We're going to put plus one on uh, agile. Goes up to a 73 overall. Plus one impact block. Plus one pass. Plus two run block. Plus two run block finesse and plus one strength. Then we have middle linebacker Malik Jefferson. Malik is a 25-year-old, fifth-year linebacker out of Texas. Not really ever going to be anything too crazy for us, so we're just going to go ahead and put the upgrade point on him. He goes up to a 65 overall. Plus one awareness, plus two blocks. Yeah, plus one man coverage, plus one play rec, plus one tackle. We also hit all of our weekly goals. So win by 17 plus points, 300 plus yards of offense, allow 14 points or less. But our game plan goal was a throw for 350 yards. We couldn't quite get that done. But you know what I mean? None of that really matters when you come out here and you get a W. All right, boys, here we are in week number eight, taking on the two and five Chicago Bears. First things first is we got some things to take care of when it comes to scouting. No, mock draft number two is out and things have changed a little bit. One main thing is us picking at number eight. They now have us uh, projected to pick around, like I said, 24, 25. And they're saying that we're going to, um, that our best fit right now, who we might get is linebacker John Springs. Let's take a look at John Springs. John Springs is projected to go in the second or third round. Um, but he is impressing scouts and everything out of BYU. Um, physical player who delivers bone crushing hits, savvy defender when the ball's in the air, has a high motor, often looks to rip the ball away, uh, looks disciplined resulting in avoidable penalties, uh, loves to utilize a spin in the counter, has a swift arm move, and his arsenal will utilize power and leverage. C block shed, C pursuit, C tackle, D zone coverage. Good to great acceleration, marginal to decent agility, marginal to decent change of direction. Jumping is decent and solid. Speed is good to great, so he can fly to the ball at least. And his strength is decent to solid. Um, so we got 50% of him scouted. Um, but I, I just don't know if this is something we would want to go for in the first round. But with that being said, some of the guys we were looking at might be projected to go. Let's see if anybody, any of the three. So Heath Bayless is, is projected to not even make it out of the top 10. And he's expected to go to our division rival in the Eagles. Darrell Starks is looking to go top five. We had Starks, Bayless, and I can't remember the last guy we had on our list. But he was projected to go in the second or third round or first and second round. So we'll see what happens there. We also uh, get the scout, our national focus, scouting national focus, assign your national scout a position to focus their evaluation efforts on. All right. So choose national scout focus. Um, what is it that our national scout does? Well, yes, cornerback. So we're going to we're going to focus it on cornerback just because remember, boys, I still want to go corner first round. Even if it's not uh, Heath Bayless, which is who I really, really want to get, I think that might be the move we do. We did trade for a cornerback as well, but you know what I mean? I want to be really, really deep at the position. Um, and you know, he also, his expertise is also middle linebacker. We could go there um, as well, but you know, nationally, the weakness in the class is middle linebacker. Um, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with, what 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 the strength in in the whole entire class is? We're gonna go ahead and uh and lock that in. Now weekly strategy going up against the Bears this week, man. Defending the outside run, stopping David Montgomery. Top twenty outside attempts, uh, just outside the top twenty one, just outside the top twenty with outside touchdowns. Top twenty outside yards and uh top 
10 in outside yards per carry. So we'll go ahead and we'll focus on that. Uh, then when it comes to the offensive side of the ball, we want us to uh, run inside. So Roquan Smith is going to be our real adversary when it comes there, when it comes to stuff in the run. Uh, number three, inside attempts. Number number one, inside touchdowns given up. Number four, inside yards given up. So we're just going to have to assert our dominance and, our, and, you know, show off our wheel. All right, boys. So dislocated shoulder for James Washington this week. He's going to be hurt and looks like he's going to miss this game. It's going to be our first injury in a long time for this club on the offensive side of the ball. On the defensive side of the ball, let's just hope and pray none of our main guys are injured because James Washington has been having a hell of a season so far. So that's going to be a huge loss. So take a look at our injury report as a whole. Devontae Bond got hurt in the preseason. James Washington is going to miss this week. Damon Clark is going to miss this week. And Bryce Hall, who we traded for from the Jets, giving up Tony Pollard, will return next week as well. So our, our secondary should get a little bit better. All right, boys, so our first moment of the game is going to be on the offensive side of the ball. It's looking to see if we can pick up on this third down here. Long well, turn around, hand it off to Zeke. He's got a big running room. Big running lane is what I meant to say. Untouched. 10-5. Touchdown, Cowboys. Let's go. Just like that, we are on the board. This should be a shellacking. I ain't going to hold you. We better beat the hell out of these dudes. All right, boys, so I guess our defense is just dominant out here today because we don't we don't get a lot of defense, defensive uh, uh, moments. Here we are back in the red zone once again. CeeDee Lamb has a step. You got to beat him. That's easy work, easy throw, easy catch. Touchdown, Cowboys, baby. Let's go. You put somebody that slow on CeeDee Lamb, it's a wrap, man. Straight like that. So the Bears go down to get three, but here we are right back in the red zone once again, ladies and gentlemen. H20 hit left in the second quarter. Zeke looking for a running lane. The Bears actually played that extremely well. Gallup is the target receiver. We got a man open over the middle. It's going to be Brown. I don't even know who Brown is, but it's a touchdown. You would think Noah Brown. You would think I would know everybody on my team all the time, but, hey, man, I ain't perfect. But, hey, 21 points in the first half, bro. It's like that. Let's get it. All right, so weird, right? The Bears scored 14 points. We did not get one. We did not get one defensive moment. But here we are in the second half, 21-17. CeeDee Lamb eating. Yes, sir. Who was number six, bro? They need to change him. They need to change that matchup. We're going at it again on the ball. Boom. Easy read by Dak. Jalen Tobert, the rookie, who's has to step up because James Washington got hurt. All right, boys. First and goal. We got four, sh four shots to get it in. Look at Zeke, man. He's just, he's better, bro. He's straight up, flat out better. Let's go, man. It's, yo, come on, man. All right, boys, I'm going to jump in here because I, I would like to play defense today. I want to try to uh, stop Jaylen, uh, Justin Fields, excuse me. Man in motion. Boom. They give me that play every time, but the teammates are there to make the play. Third down, let's go. All right, third and five. Montgomery in the backfield. Definitely going to be going to the air here. Boom. What a throw by Justin Fields. And who was A.B. Anthony Brown got absolutely baptized by Nikhil Harry? Oh, my God. All right, first and 10 here, boys. Here we go. First play of the fourth quarter, getting them fours up if necessary. Oh, he came right at me, and then we missed a tackle. First down, Bears. God dang. All right, boys, we got a first and 10 here. Justin Fields in the shotgun. Back to pass, as you would think. Yep, yep, I was getting back to my assignment. Luckily, he's overthrown there. We must have had some pressure up front. All right, second and 10 here for the Bears. Back to pass once again. Justin Fields wide open, man. I mean, too soft of a zone. Let's go, Trey. All right, first and 10 here, boys. Let's go. In the red zone here for the Bears. This is why I want to play defense, man. Make 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 us stop them. Cole Komet is just too – he just killed. All right, Bears going for two to be down to be down three. A lot of game left, too. Wide open, Cole Komet once again. LVE had no chance. Take a look at the day CD's having so far. 10 receptions, 154 yards, and a touchdown. The man is doing it all. He's eating. Picking up the blitz. Wide open receiver. Michael Gallup. Let's go. Try to try to try to get outside there. You know what I mean? Could have picked up the first down. Here we go. Hand it off to Zeke. Cut it up. Ah, that hole was extremely fast, bro. Zeke went almost 200 yards on a day, bro. Like Zeke, Zeke is really showing that he still got something left in the tank, dog. Dak looking for somewhere to go. Nowhere to go. Smartly takes the sack. All right, boys, we're going to try to try a little misdirection here with the play action. Michael Gallup is open, and Dak is going to overthrow him. He was so wide. All right, third and 16 here for your Cowboys, boys. Here we go. Let's try to see if Schultz can, can, eat, it, can eat up the seams here. Can Schultz eat up the seams? He can. First down. Let's go. All right, first and 10, boys. Here we go. Hand off to Zeke. 
You know what I mean? Hey, you're going to fall forward every single time. We're going to take our three. I wish there was an easier way to make formation subs, because I do want to get Moster in the game a little bit more. Zeke with the cutback. Let's go. Putting his foot in the ground and making a play. First down, boys. Let's go. The reason why it's hard for me to put Moster in the game a lot of times, I do let the computer call my plays for the most part, you know what I mean, to you know, simulate having coordinators. But, you know, I, I don't I don't really go on formations myself and call the plays. Way to come back to the ball, Jalen. Hell of a drive right here, man. I mean, it's a long drive. We, we're using a, utilizing a lot of clock, and I'm and I'm happy about that also. You know I mean? Not to really keep the ball away from them, but, you know, sustaining a drive. No. As soon as I said that, we throw a pick. Please don't be a pick six. Oh, my goodness. Michael Gallup is the last line of defense. Is that really going to happen? See, that's why I can't big myself up. That's why we can't big ourselves up. Eddie Jackson with the pick six. That is disastrous, bro. I gotta throw. I gotta throw that ball here, here. I threw it there, and I didn't. I let him. Yeah, that was picked off. No matter what. All right, boys. So we're back on defense here, and they're on our four yard line. So not really sure how we got here. Let's try to get out of here. That's gotta be a play made on the ball. Ooh, yo, we gotta pick that, fellas. Come on, oh, fellas. Make a play, man. Make a play here, boys. We on a mean win streak too. Good cutback there by oh good tackle. That was a good cutback there though by, by Montgomery. All right, boys. We gotta show that blitz there. We gotta show blitz there. Come on, make a play on the ball. Let's go. Hold him to three. Fourth down. That is huge, baby. That is huge, dog. All right, Dak, here we go. Five minutes left, boys. Five minutes left. A lot of time, but not a lot of time if we turn the ball over. Boom, good throw. Let's go. CD way to win. Dak with Dak with more with more picks than, than touchdowns here today. Haven't said that in a few weeks, so we got to clean that up as Zeke picks up the first down, 184 on the ground. All right, first and 10, boys. Here we go. Got one. Boom. CD eating. Let's go. Come on, man. They can't stick with them one-on-one. -on -one. All right, second and 10. Here we go. Boom. Hand off to Zeke. Got some blocks. Got to make some people miss. Ah, we got tackled from behind. I'm just noticing we're down seven and we're not down. Oh, yeah, through the pick six. Duh. <laughs> I miss Dalton Schultz, but I might have Tober here. Ah, he's got bullied. Do we go for it with 250 left? I think we go for it here, boys. Fourth and seven. I, th I think we go for game. We got the timeouts. And this is one time where I'm going to call my own play. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth and seven. Looks like the blitz is coming, bro. Looks like the blitz is coming. Come on, Tobert. Make a play. Let's go. First down. Big throw, Dak. All right. First and ten, boys. Here we go. Boom. Go to Dak. I mean, go to Zeke. Excuse me. All right, boys. Here we go. Third and five. Boom. What a throw. What a catch. Let's go. Jalen Tobert with two big catches here this drive, bro. Oh, my goodness. What a freaking dot, dog. That is a hell of a throw. Oh, my goodness. All right, boys. Minute 28 here. Can uh, can Justin Fields drive his team all the way down the field? I don't think so. I think we're going to get the stop and get the ball back. Justin Fields takes off. LVE makes him slide. I wanted to end his day. Not his life. Not his career. I wanted to end just his day. I wanted to make today difficult for him. Trayvon Diggs. Let's go. Way to knock it loose. Come on, seven. All right, man. Here we go. One last stop, boys. One last stop on this drive. Not a lot of time being 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 you being taken off either. A full minute four left if we get a stop here. Out of the backfield. Javon Kerr. J. Ron Curse, I meant. Can't make the tackle. Are you kidding me? Uh, J. Ron Curse unable to make a tackle to get us off the field there. Good check down by Justin Fields, though. This could be like a signature drive of his career if he gets this done. Fussed out. Overthrow. I'll take it. Let's go, defense. All right. I need D-Law to win up front. That's what I want. I want D-Law to win. Get a successful pass for us, D-Law. That was pretty successful. Go get him. Go get him. Let's go. Third down, boys. Come on. All right, boys. Get off the field here, man. Get off the field here, boys. Let's go third and seven. 31 seconds left. Come here. Sack. Balls on the ground. We don't recover it. We're going to take our timeout. Oh, my goodness. If we had more people, let's go, LVE. 25 seconds, two timeouts, and we're getting the rock here, boys. Let's go. And for those of you that uh, some of you guys be wondering, ask, I am still on base base uh, all Madden. I uh, haven't found any sliders yet. It's also way too early to have any true, like, sliders going on right now. But nonetheless, man, let's try to make a play here. Come on, Tobert. Go down. All right, timeout number one. Let me get that. 12 seconds, boys. Let's go. All right, first and 10, boys. Here we go. Be smart here. 
Boom. Let's get some extra yards, Jalen. I would have loved to have gotten out of bounds. We're going to get ready to take our time out here. Boom. Three seconds left. This is where I said I don't know if our kicker can get the job done. 48 yards. He did hit a 47-yarder earlier. Here we go. Are right, they going to ice. I was about to say they're not even going to ice, but they're going to ice. No win. Oh, eight miles per hour win. I missed it. I didn't get enough power on it. I didn't get enough. That's a lie. We win the ball game. Let's go. What a win. What a drive. What a game, bro. Wow. Yo, I thought for sure I did not get enough leg on that because I'm so used to playing online. I'm used to a, I'm used to a little hitch and a little hiccup, a little lag when I press the button, so I press it too early. But we knocked through a freaking ice kick with a kicker that is not that good. What a signature win and drive for Dak, bro. Dak had big, huge drives on during this game, bro. Oh my goodness! Uh, I mean, we threw three picks and we 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 still found a way to win. That's 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 how you know we were playing a lesser opponent, and we can't do that, you know, in two weeks when we play Green Bay. Justin Fields, 16 for 30, 257, three touchdowns, no picks. Dak, three touchdowns, three picks, 398 yards, 31 for 43, 72% completion percentage. On the ground, uh, Zeke, 28 for 190, two touchdowns. David Montgomery, we shut him down a little bit. Through the air, CD Lamb, 12 for 175, a touchdown. Tober, eight for 98 in the touchdown. Uh, Cohen, Dalton Schultz, four for 51. So, you know, Jalen Tobert, bro, he, He's uh he's gonna be as good as we as we hoped, bro. So we're not gonna we're not gonna need receivers for a while because we're definitely gonna lock up CD Lamb when the time comes. Um, take a look at blocks, uh, some sacks given up. Uh, Terrence Steele, uh, Tyler Beatis, Beatis, I never know how to say his name. And then Tyron Smith gave up a sack as well. Defensively, just gonna take a look at our guys here. LVE seven tackles, six solo. Who led us in tackles here today? Was LVE Trayvon Diggs had three. Uh, three tackles for loss, two to LVE, one to Jordan Lewis, who got hurt, but hopefully not for too long. Uh, two sacks by Tristan Hill today, a sack by LVE. We don't, we didn't catch any picks, so we're not forcing turnovers out of here, boys. That's one thing we definitely need to do because uh, we're turning the ball over and we got to try to force some takeaways. All right, in case you guys haven't know, man, in case you guys haven't realized, I'm not the coach in this series. I'm the owner. I don't know why I chose owner over coach. It's just what I felt like doing. Maybe because I wanted to fire, you know what I mean? I wanted to, I wanted to have some say so over the uh over my staff but uh the coach says uh, at the midway point of, uh your team's in a good spot how far do you think this team could go you just want to uh be in a position to win a super bowl i believe we're showing this is a super bowl caliber team well it's a dangerous game to start looking ahead i mean that's the i mean that's what it is bro i mean we're, we're i mean I'm, I'm gonna keep it real i'm not you, my name as the owner is not jerry jones you feel what i'm saying so we're not just going to talk out of the side of our neck every single chance we get all right, boys. So here in our bye week, we have some uh, some player signings to to worry about. Now LVE, you know, what I mean, he's not interested. We withdrew our offer. We could also potentially, uh, you know, um, franchise tag him, but I doubt it. Anthony Barr is interested. Anthony Brown wants to stay. James Washington, I like what he brings to the table. Dante Fowler, Tristan Hill. This is our our young D tackle of the future. So with this, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go neutral, neutral uh deal with him. And he has signed. He's happy to sign to continue to play for the great organization. Just got his dev trade up, not about to let him go. Um coming down here, here with us, some other young talent. Noah, Noah Brown looked good when he stepped up here in this game. Um, I'm not sure it's enough to bring him back quite yet. Terrence Steele, one of those guys where we could pick up some linemen from the draft. I don't think Terrence Terrence Steele is necessarily, uh, uh, you know, a team, you know, like a like a long term solution at right tackle. But we will try to bring him back. It's a good offer. We got it done. Neutral, you know. what I mean, not not gonna offer him too much. Just ten million cap, boys. Ten million cap. Our line isn't the greatest. Uh, Moster wants a little bit too much, uh, in my opinion. That would take us down to six three. He's a um, he's a backup, and the way Zeke is playing, we really don't need that. Another guy we want to bring back is Anthony Barr. That was the previous off offer. Um, we'll go with a neutral offer here. Thirty years old, but not bad at outside linebacker. We were able to sign him. We want players that's going to uh, make sense for our team long term uh, as we try to build through the draft as well. Um, so that's really where, where we're going to end it right here. 2023 cap space is not high. Remember, boys, we're in a really, really tight cap, tight cap space 
uh, situation with this Cowboys team. So this team that we have is going to be what we get for a, for a while. And office, also, we put LVE on the trade block. Nobody has nobody has fist for LVE. They, they quickly came and scooped Tony Pollard. But LVE has stayed pretty put. And take a look at Draft Central here. Uh, the right tackle, the left guard, and the center are all positions that our guys are looking at. Again, I'm not looking to bring to bring in people in the draft on the offensive line, but I will if necessary. So here's our third and final game of the episode. We're going up against A-Rod in a 5-4 and four Green Bay Packers squad. Uh, they're number 12 in points per, points per game. They're number 12, I mean number 4 in offensive passing yards per game. Number 8 in offensive rushing yards per game. Number 11 defensive points per game, number 24 defensive pass. So their pass defense is, is their weak point. And their defensive rush yards per game is pretty good. We got the best rush D in the nation. In the nation. I play too much college. We got the best run D in the league. We got the number four pass defense in the league. We got the number one rush offense in the league. We got a top 15 passing attack. And we're the number two scoring team in the league. Um, still pretty close race in the a in the NFC East. We have to play the Giants one more time. Right now, as of now, they have a tiebreaker on us. Um Game plan is to force three plus turnovers. That's something I, I hope we can continue to do. Um, defensive coordinator allow 10 points or less. Offensive coordinator 300 yards of 300 plus yards of offense. Head coach win the turnover battle. Um, so we want to hold on to the ball a little bit. But let's take a look here, boys, because remember, we do have a player returning to the lineup this week. So we traded for Bryce Hall from the Jets with Tony Pollard. 6'1", 202 pounds, 24 years old, two-year man out of Virginia. Let's go ahead and take a look at his ratings, man. 88 speed, 77 man, 80 zone, 83 play rank, 91 excel, 88 press, 86 agility, 90 jumping. Um, good awareness. Does, says his injury is pretty good, so he shouldn't have been as hurt as he was. Just because the ankle it is what it is. But him on the other side of, um, you know what I'm saying, of um, of, of, uh, of uh, uh, Trey Diggs. Um, and then we move AB to the slot. Carl Joseph moves down. Um, you know, Jordan Lewis moves down as well. I might move Jordan Lewis. Well, I'm sorry. Jordan Lewis moves to the four, to the four, uh, dime, dime back. Um, and then, you know, Joseph moves all the way down. So, uh, but I might put Lewis over, over a B cause a B has been pissing me off lately, but overall I feel like we can, we can be pretty, pretty good, pretty solid. Our defense, man, our defensive group is at 83 overall right now. And, um, we're not looking bad. Uh, you know, might want to change our scheme a little bit. I did say I was going to change our offensive playbook as well, but I might wait to the end of the season uh, with that just because, you know, our guys are, are, are playing pretty well for the most part, boys. So in the playoff picture, boys, right now, we are the number three team overall, number two in the NFC behind the surprising 7-2 and two Panthers. You know what I'm saying? Nobody would have expected that. We are currently on a five-game winning streak, and it is the longest win streak in the whole entire league. So we need to win again. We need to continue these winning ways. And to continue to do our thing. All right, boys. So we're on the road for this one in Lambo. Des caught it. You know what I mean? Looking to stop A Rod. He naturally, historically kills the Cowboys, bro. We struggle. Boom. He, he, he I mean, we, we got to get pressure on him. There's no way we're going to give A Rod all day to throw in, in his own coverage and he not pick us apart. And we got him where, where we want him, boys. Third and 12. Third and long. Let's go ahead and blitz everybody off the edge there. Make a play right to you. Trayvon Diggs, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Seven? I got your shirt on and everything, bro. Like, what's good? Like, come on, we gotta watch this again. I know A-Rod is A-Rod. But Trayvon, you gotta run through that to make that play. Yo, when, 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 when we get a chance to get off the field, bro, we gotta make it happen, dog. Straight up and down. We we got we gotta make it shake. Make a tackle. Oh my goodness. Big hit by Malik Hooker. AJ Jones, Aaron Jones, excuse me, holds on to the ball there. Throws it away. Let's go. I was trying to get to Tunney, and Tunney was wide open. All right, boys. So we go third and three. Hold these boys at three. Coming back. How, Sway? How? Micah Parsons got hurt. How, though? Is he so open, dog? We got. I had a zone. I had a flat zone there with Trayvon Diggs. Aaron Rodgers just does what he wants. Michael, Pitt, Michael Parsons, hopefully he's not going long, bro. Wide me wide open. We sold out for the run. So we found ourselves down 14 here. First offensive uh, moment of the day. Dak flushed out. Make that throw. Come on, Dalton. Break a tackle. Let's go. So elbow spray for Micah. He's going to be going just for a few plays. We'll return soon. All right, we go. First and 10. Dak back to pass. Got to make that throw. That's a dot. Let's go, CD. CD open every time. Come on, man. 
We're going to make plays. They're going to learn, man. It's not a lot of DBs out here that can guard CD one-on-one, -on -one, especially in the slot, bro. Especially in the slot. Oh, come on, Zeke. Do what you do. Fall forward every time. All right, we go first and goal. Boom, cut that back. Good cut back. Ah! All right, so uh, Tyron Smith is injured. Tyron Smith injured. Oh, Lord. That left side about to be brutal. What's the call? Is it holding? Is it holding? Probably. Yep. I bet it's the left tackle, the backup left tackle. Yep. <laughs> we go CD. Zeke blocks. Oh, no. We, under pressure. I mean, we got rid of it. Just couldn't make an accurate throw. Zeke tried to block, but our old line is uh our old line is trash right now on that left side, bro. Zeke hit as he throws. I mean, Zeke Dak hit as he throws. We're going to settle for three. All right, back back in the red zone here. 14-3. Remember, our left tackle is bad. We don't have we don't have Tyron, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and double team here, just in case. Yep. Smart call. Oh my good. I thought he was running that route a little bit more flat, boys. I thought he was running a little bit more flat. All right, man. That Dax turnover woes continue, boys. Uh, Twenty-one three here. Two timeouts because I called one by mistake. Come on, CD. Good play on the outside. Is that Jair Alexander, boys? Tolbert got open on the outside, bro, and I and I was sending it. The pressure is just unreal off the left side. The pressure is unreal off the left side today, boys. All right, twenty-one three still here, boys. We are we are getting our cheeks clapped. Every now and then, boys, the Cowboys, you know what I mean, we'll get hot like this out of the rail, and then, you know, we'll play a team to knock us back down to earth. And, you know, they say, well, um, you know what I mean, and then they'll be like, yep, that's what happens when you play formidable opponents. But it's like, I don't know, like these dudes just get small sometimes. They just kind of disappear throughout the game. Let's go. Come on, Zeke. It's a DB. Thank you. Truck a DB. This game's far from over, so that's the, that's the, that's the best part about it. A lot of game left. A whole lot of game left here. You know what I mean? It's double team up front. Oh, there we go, Zeke. There we go, Zeke. Come on, baby. Second and inches. Turn around, hand it off. G give me that. Ah, we got a block, dog. All right, third, third, and, third and three. Boom, CD. Come on, baby. Now we get a ball back to Zeke. Let's eat. Let's go ahead and uh, double team so we don't get uh, insta sh instantly shed it up front. Come on, Zeke. Damn. No way. He's down. He's got to be down. He's got to be down. We don't got to look at it. We know he was down. Overturn, thank you. All right, man, let's go, boys. Dak, breaking the tackle in the end zone. Let's go. 35 nothing, boys. And, you know, we, we knew we had some work to do. We've had a pretty favorable schedule at the beginning of the year. But, man, I ain't know it was going to be this bad, bro. Oh, it's fourth down again. I'm just noticing that. I wanted to throw a check down. Oh, my God. This is horrible. I thought it was third down, keep the drive alive. Not even sure today Zeke had because Zeke wasn't too bad. Like when I ran with him, but you know, you never know. He's open there. Nope. <laughs> hit and, and, and batted, hit and tipped at the line, and that's going to be a pick six for Douglas. I mean, Zeke was open, but our line, our line. If, if Tyron Smith is going for a favorable amount of time, it is going to be rough out there, bro. But we've seen it in real life. When our O line gets hurt and we don't have our starters, Dak and the rest of this offense struggle. And what do you know? It's off the left freaking side. All right, boys, so we come out here, we come to Green Bay, and we get our cheeks clapped. Yes, they beat the shit out of us. <laughs> we had no answer for them today. Um, we turned the ball over. Defense couldn't get stops. I'm anxious to see what Aaron Rodgers' stat line was, but they put up 50 on us, bro. So A-Rod threw for 243, five touchdowns, no picks. Meanwhile, Dak threw for 283, uh, zero touchdowns, two picks on the ground. Zeke still did his thing, 95 yards. Aaron Jones, 135 yards of touchdown. Dak scored a touchdown for us as well. CD had a great day. Now, uh, 11 for 134, but Randall Cobb, old ass, 9 for 109, two touchdowns on us. Tunyon had two touchdowns on us. Gallup had a decent day. Sammy Watkins scored a touchdown. I mean, we couldn't get anything going. Devondre Campbell for them, 13 tackles, 9 solo. Uh, Preston Smith with a, a sack and a half. Dean Lowry with a sack. Rashawn Gary with a sack. Bryce Huff with a sack. Demarcus Lawrence didn't have a sack. Kenny Clark even had half a sack. Rasul Douglas caught both of the picks. One of them he took back to the crib. I mean, we got to go back to the drawing board big time. This is not how we should be. This is not how we should should have performed fresh off of a bye. 
All right, boys. So Tyron Smith will be going for the next four weeks. What do we do at the left tackle position? Because well, let's go is not the answer there. Well, let's go is not the guy. Um, maybe we ship some things around a little differently. Um, I'm really not sure what it is we're going to need to do, but if he's going to be blocking off the edge for us, bro, and we play some of these better teams, it's going to be a long, long day. 63 overall, bro. I think we might have to go to free agency. So Jason Peters, you know what I mean? A long time Philadelphia Eagle is available. Eric Fisher is available. You know, bridge player mentor, bridge player. Um, Jason Peters is going to be our best option. Unless we see what we got at right tackle, Nate Solder. Um, yeah, let's go with Jason Peters. He wants five, almost six mil to get off the couch. I mean, we can't put it down at all either. Do we have the five mil to give him? We do. All right. So, you know what I mean? While Tyron Ty Smith is gone, bro, we had we had to bring in an old-time veteran to, you know, make some shake here over the next four weeks. So, with that, man, we got to cut a player. Um... None of these guys is, are really guys that I want to say goodbye to. They, the Sean Wright, I could move him to the practice squad. I know practice squad stealing is on. Um, he could possibly be gone, but we're just going to have to take our chances with that. All right, boys. So we, uh, we're we going to jump into week 11 next episode. Uh, we're going to take it on the Vikings. We got the Vikings, the Giants, the Colts, and the Texans are our next few games. So we should be able to survive with uh, Jason Peters, man. But we'll have to see how it goes. If you guys enjoy, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block, go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man.